side menu plugin, which has been designed to work with any WordPress theme. This allows you to add a sliding content area to any WordPress site. Today, we're going to be installing the plugin on the popular 2017 theme. First, we need to install the plugin. Go to the dashboard and then go to plugins and add new. Search for the side menu, it's one word. Click install now. It may take a few seconds, but when it's installed, click activate. Now, if we view the site, we'll see the side menu in place. At this stage, it only shows for administrators. Now we need to add an open button. So, go and edit your menus. Sometimes the side menu meta box isn't shown, so you need to click screen options top right and then tick the box next to the open side menu. Now you can expand the open side menu meta box on the left and tick the side menu and click add to menu. If you want to rename the menu item, you can expand it and edit the navigation label. Save the menu and go back to the site. The side menu isn't open because there's a button to open it. The side menu can be closed by doing any of the following. One, clicking on the dimmed main site. Two, clicking the close icon, which is at the top right of the side menu. Or three, scrolling down in the main site. Next, we want to add some content, which we can do by either adding a widget to the side menu sidebar, or by adding a menu to the side menu display location. So first, we'll add the menu. In this instance, we'll add social link. Alternatively, add some widgets to the side menu sidebar. The side menu can be further customised. Click on customise and then side menu tab. Some of these settings are premium options, but the upgrade is only a very small amount. So, we want to position the side menu on the left or the right. I prefer the right. Um, Use a hamburger menu icon instead of text for the open button. Now choose any icon from the dash icon. So let's put a cart in there. Now let's choose the site overlay color and opacity. Let's perhaps go to a purple and the opacity, just drop that down a little bit. That's better. Right, choose the side menu width. I think that's too big at the moment, so let's drop that down. That's better. And now, choose a side menu background color. Let's also make that purple. Good. Right, let's style the side menu titles, texts, and links. Let's have a look at the first one, the alignment. I prefer the left, so just leave it at left. Title case, I think keep that, go to none, but don't need, that's better. Font weights, font sizes, you can adjust those accordingly to however you feel. Change the color to whatever you want. And basically, that's it. It's simple.